morning everybody. Please settle down, open your textbooks to page 135. We're going to talk all about the Philippine presidents. As we all know that they are the distinguished leaders who have shaped our nation's history. Now as a primer, I will be having an oral recitation. Okay, so let's start with you, Mr. Greta Santa. Who is the father of the Philippine independence? It's Emilio Aguinaldo, sir. That's fine. Now, Mr. Alcala, stand up. Who are the presidents that served during World War II? Yes, sir. They are Manuel and Queso and Jose Pinoel, sir. That's right. Now, how about you, Ms. Castillo? Stand up. Which president is known for the Edson Revolution in 2001 and what event happened during that time? Um, it's Joseph Estrada Ford. They overthrew him out of his presidency. You're right, Ms. Castillo. It seems that all of you have the basic knowledge about our Philippine presidents. Now, let's delve deeper about their significant works and their historical impact onto our nation in the current years. Now, shall we begin? Emilio Aguinaldo Aguinaldo was the first president of the Philippines and played a crucial role in the country's fight for independence from Spanish colonial rule. He declared Philippine Independence Day on June 12, 1898 and led the first Philippine Republic, although it was a short-lived one due to the Philippine-American War. Jose P. Laurel during World War II, Laurel served as president of the Japanese-occupied Philippines. His presidency is controversial as he cooperated with the Japanese occupiers, but some argue he did so to mitigate harm to Filipinos under occupation. Manuel Rojas as the first president of the independent Third Republic of the Philippines, Rojas played a crucial role in rebuilding the country after World War II and establishing democratic institutions. His leadership laid foundations for the post-war recovery and the pursuit of economic stability. Ramon Magsaysay Magsaysay is celebrated for his commitment to social justice and good governance. His presidency saw significant efforts to fight corruption and improve the lives of ordinary Filipinos. He also played a crucial role in countering the Hukbalahap insurgency. Josdalo Makapagal Makapagal is best known for changing the date of Philippine Independence Day from July 4th to June 12th emphasizing the nation's true independence from colonial rule. This significant act solidified the historical and cultural identity of the Philippines as a sovereign nation. Ferdinand Marcos Although his presidency saw initial economic growth, Marcos's regime became notorious for his authoritarian rule, human rights abuses, and corruption. His declaration of martial law in 1972 led to nearly two decades of authoritarian rule, marked by suppression of opposition and media censorship. Corazon Aquino Corazon Aquino is celebrated for her role in the Philippine Power Revolution, which peacefully ousted Ferdinand Marcos and restored democracy in the Philippines. Her presidency focused on political and social reforms and healing the country from the trauma of the Marcos era. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo Arroyo served as president during a disorderly period, dealing with political crisis and economic challenges. Her administration focused on economic reforms and infrastructure development, but it was also marked by controversies including allegations of electoral fraud. Rodrigo Duterte Duterte's presidency has been marked by a strong stance on law and order, including an aggressive anti-drug campaign. 
His foreign policy has also shifted with a more independent approach to international relations. However, his presidency faced criticism and scrutiny for human rights concerns. Students, as we reflect upon the history of the Philippines, their contributions, whether in terms of peace or turmoil, have shaped our political, social, and cultural landscape. Let us remember that the history of the Philippines is a test. Bye, sir. Bye, guys.